Hey everybody, Healthy Prepper here. And today's haul is a much healthier haul. And I just came back from my local uh, flea market, which has a wonderful farmer's market in it. And they have these bagged veggies that are all bagged at a dollar each uh, because they're veggies that are very, very ripe and are very, very close to not making it till the next day unless something is done with them this day. And these are actually the perfect veggies uh, or fruits for dehydrating because they're at their peak flavor and ripeness and um, they make fabulous dehydrated veggies. So what I did was I bought a bunch and this whole pile you're seeing here, um, I think I don't know exactly how many I have here, um, but each one was a dollar and I got the melons a dollar each and they were like regularly uh, two fifty or three dollars depending on uh, where you saw them elsewhere in the uh, market. And uh, I'm going to go to town here. If you've never dehydrated grapes, they are fabulous to make your own raisins. They are so sweet and uh, so yummy, and they are great to add to any chicken salad or um, anything that you like. Uh, you can soak them in a little warm water, too, and that will help them open them up after. Um, or just use them as is, as a snack. Um, I love to dehydrate green and red peppers and yellow peppers and orange peppers uh, they are so good to add to any soups or stews or um, rice dishes um, fabulous 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 and they're easy to um, cut up small and uh, store small um, I just picked up some lettuce for the house generally don't dehydrate that because it just dehydrates down to basically nothing um, but I got some cantaloupes and you can dehydrate those as well and we're probably, what I'm going to do with this, oh, here's apples, and these are four big bags of beautiful tomatoes. So um, at peak ripeness, so I'm very excited. So what I'm going to do with some of this food is I'm going to wash it all up in my sink, and um, I'm going to separate a little bit to keep for my family to eat now, and I'm going to cut that up and put it in the fridge so it's grab and go, easy to work with food all week. Uh, for very short-term food storage and then the rest of it I'm going to dehydrate and that will give me food for long-term food storage so I still get to capitalize on the great uh, deals that were offered uh, apples are fabulous dehydrated if you haven't dehydrated apples yet just spritz them with a little bit of lemon juice uh, and water and then um, slice them up and pop them in the dehydrator and away you go and I'll do some videoing on how to do this so there you go folks I like to put my vegetables and fruits in a nice cool water bath and this way I can wash them up really good and I can pick out any ones that need to be discarded this way easily seen and it's a good idea I picked up this little tip to pour in a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in the water when you're washing your fruits and veggies something I learned when uh, I was eating a raw food diet they have special veggie washes that are actually a stronger percent uh, hydrogen peroxide than the one you buy at the drugstore. But still, this will uh, help the cause of uh, getting rid of any bacteria, fungus, viruses from the surface of the food, uh, keep it a little cleaner. Now, actually, the dehydrating process and the heating and the drying of the food also destroys a lot of uh, bacteria, fungus, and viruses. So your food can be very clean. And uh, so give everything a good rinse. Pick off any ones that don't look good. Drain them off nice and dry, let them air dry, and then proceed with the dehydrating. Okay, so here I've uh, washed um, all the grapes, and I took the stems off. And at this point, I'm just going to sequester some of them in a bowl and keep them in my fridge for my family to nibble on through the week as a nice, healthy snack. And then I'm going to dehydrate the rest. So here's how we do that process. Okay, so what I'm doing now is, hey, no barking. <laughs> she loves grapes and I can't give her grapes. Um, okay, what I'm doing now is I'm cutting the grapes in half because they dehydrate much faster if they're cut in half because you pierce the skin and then this will dehydrate very quickly. Um, same thing goes for grape tomatoes the little or cherry tomatoes, the small tomatoes. You want to cut those in half and they will dehydrate much faster. So I'm in the process of doing this. Um, it doesn't really take that long. I would say just pop on your favorite music and uh, go to town slicing and dicing. Okay, so here I've cut up my grapes and I've spread them out all over the tray. 
And it doesn't matter if they're touching a little bit and they don't have to be perfectly arranged. Um, it's not necessary. The dehydration process will work just fine um, with grapes, so no worries there. So I've got a few more grapes to go and I'm gonna go ahead and cut those up and put them on the tray and then move on to the next veggie. So here I've got some nice grapes for my family to nibble on during the week, which I'm going to put in the fridge for them. And I'm just finishing up my last tray of grapes, and I will pop that in the dehydrator. So get a good close look at the grapes. There they are. So for a total of $3, I bought three bags of grapes, and I'm going to get two full trays of raisins and one... Uh, snacking grape basket for the week for my family. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, so for the prepping, I think it works two ways. You get your short-term prepping and your long-term pre prepping. You get your long-term prepping covered in one shot. Here's what it looks like when they load in the dehydrator. This one happens to have nine trays. You don't need the nine tray one. I just use that because I like to buy the veggies in bulk at the flea market and then I can just do a bunch of veggies all at once. You can get a shorter five tray one or you can get different kinds from Walmart. There's so many different ones out there and they all work on the same basic principle. They blow uh, hot air and uh, they all will uh, dehydrate. So it um, doesn't matter what your price point is, there's a dehydrator for you out there. Sometimes you can find them at garage sales and estate sales and things like that, or on Craigslist. Okay, next I'm doing peppers. I've got them in the cool water bath, a little hydrogen peroxide to help uh, clean them up a bit. And I'm just breaking them apart, taking out the core and the seeds, um, dumping it on this side. And uh, ah! shh, she loves red peppers. Um, they don't have to be beautiful or perfect. This is just the first step to uh, get the basics clean. Then you can chop them up however you like. That's the nice thing about dehydrating. As a prepper, you do not have to be perfect or artistic or uh, of any gourmet quality. You just need to be able to uh, chop. So we'll go on to the next step. Price point on this. This was um, approximately four four to five bags of peppers and uh, so that was about four or five dollars worth of peppers which I thought was pretty good folks so there's my uh, coarsely uh, cleaned peppers uh, washed and cleaned and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut them up and we did grow peppers in our garden last year but um, we gave new meaning to the word puny and we produced very puny <laughs> Uh, peppers and my husband is committed to growing bigger peppers this year but I'm not giving up on the flea market just in case our peppers are again puny but this is another great way to store overage from your garden uh, dehydrating is a great way to uh, build your food storage and your food supply bank um, with uh, that's, this way you don't lose any of your produce because produce is so expensive these days for either of these two knives to do the peppers you may have your own favorite, but I find either of these work very well. Serrated edge or the big old chef's knife. Schools of thought on the cutting of the pepper. You can dice them or you can uh, julienne them, I guess this is. So um, I've decided this time I'm going to dice them because I think I can get more into the same amount of space this way. Now you can also uh, do them lengthwise this way and then break them up after they're dry. They're very uh, dry and crispy after, and they're very easy to break into smaller pieces. And um, uh, with soups and stews and things like that, you'll probably want smaller pieces. Um, and there, it's also space saving. But you can certainly just leave them in long form too. You have yourself one of these uh, pastry cutter scrapers. It makes picking up the little pieces very quick and easy to put over onto the dehydrator tray. Okay, I just spread them out here. Uh, they don't have to be perfect. It's okay if they're touching each other. They will dry. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this load into the dehydrator. 
Why don't you come with me? See if I can do this. Oh, hi, Penny. All right, here we go. Go into the dehydrator. Oops, one-handed. Uh-huh. And in it goes. Whew. Success. All right, get the next train, and we're off and running. Just had to show you this. Isn't this just the prettiest thing you ever did see? It's a beauty, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> a work of art. Next on the dehydrating plate are going to be the beautiful mushrooms. Mushrooms dehydrate so well, so easily. Just slice them up, lay them on the tray, and off they go. And the mushrooms are all diced up. And I'm going to walk these over to the dehydrator and pop these babies in. <clears throat> Here they go. Tray number, let's see, nine, eight, seven. Tray number seven. And they're in. Now pull out the next tray. Okay, I'm going to do the tomatoes next. And this is a fabulous little gizmo. If you don't have one of these, it's a tomato core. And it just makes really easy work out of getting that little bugger out of there. So, uh, might make it your life easier. I actually found this at a garage sale, 10 cents. My best friend. So, I'm going to slice up these tomatoes and pop them on there too. Now, these tomatoes are very ripe. That's okay though. And you can cut them thick. They'll dehydrate. Cut them thin. They'll dehydrate faster. But, I've got a lot of veggies in there, so I don't mind these taking their sweet time. And I do lay these out flat beside each other. They'll just dehydrate better that way. A little gizmo again. Look at that. Ah, loving it, loving it. And these are so beautiful. I am going to make some tomato salad for the family. Maybe mix in a little bit of mozzarella, basil, and uh, maybe some pine nuts, a little bit of olive oil. Oh, love that. There you go. The last beautiful tray of tomatoes going on into the dehydrator. And I can say it probably took me maybe 40 minutes to prep all the veggies and also separate some for the family to eat during the week and also prep food for the future. So I think that was a good investment of time versus reward. Um, I hope you give dehydrating a try if you haven't tried it. It's really a lot of fun and uh, um, I, it's very addictive too. <laughs> so um, always new ideas and I'm going to show you some recipes with the dehydrated foods too which are fun to make. So uh, here's looking at you. Uh, happy and healthy prepping everybody. Till next time. All right. Okay, I just wanted to show you my fully loaded dehydrator with the nine shelves. All ready to go here. Two rows of grapes, several rows of peppers, mushrooms, and tomatoes. So what I'm going to do, close the lid. Okay, I'm ready to turn on my dehydrator. I'm going to personally put mine between Oh, between 135, well, you know what? I'm going to go 145 on these because I've got a lot of stuff in there. And I'm going to crank it on for about 20 hours. Now, I can check it periodically to see how stuff is drying. It Different things are going to dry at different times, so it's okay to uh, have different thicknesses of food in the dehydrator at the same time. I can pull out trays when they're done and uh, let the rest uh, continue to dry. So there you go folks. Um, happy dehydrating and healthy prepping. Okay everybody, here's what we've got this morning. Let's take a peek. Here's the mushrooms. Oh yeah, hear that crack sound? That's what you want. So these mushrooms are done. I can actually take these out. And here's some peppers. See what they look like, the little tiny ones. And listen, that 
crackly sound. That's what you want. Yeah. Very dry, very, very dry. Crackly. And let's see. Tomatoes coming along very nicely. Not quite done yet. I think I'm going to dry them a little bit longer. They were a little thicker, but they're at what I call the leathery stage. A lot of the water has been removed at this point. But uh, I want them even drier than that, so they go snap, crackle, pop, too. And the grapes. Grapes are going to need a little bit longer, but they're definitely coming along very nicely. And like here's a nice thin one, and they will wrinkle up and dry up even more than that. So I'm going to let them run a little longer and go from here. So there you go, folks. Happy dehydrating your veggies. Lots of lovelies here to look at. Look at these babies. It's going to be so good. So many different things. Enjoy, everybody. Happy prepping.